There will be no debate in the race for governor in the state of Alabama. Kay Ivey has refused, and now the head of the League of Women Voters says the governor won't even provide the most basic information about where she stands on the issues. News 5's Peter Albrecht explains. It's been the talk of this year's election for governor, Kay Ivey's refusal to debate. There are only two people that ever bring up the subject of debates. Y'all in the media and my opponent. Governor Ivey doesn't owe me a debate. She owes the people of Alabama a debate. Not only has Ivey refused to debate, she's refused to participate in the Alabama League of Women Voters online questionnaire, asking the candidates their views on the economy, environment, health care, and more. Real basic questions and that way people can the way that it's formatted um, people can pull up a candidates two candidates side by side and unfortunately the governor's side is empty because she didn't respond to that either. Barbara Cadell, the president of the Alabama League of Women Voters, says Ivy's refusal to participate in her organization's forum and even the online questionnaire is detrimental to the democratic process. When you only have half of the information, how can you make an informed decision? That's the whole basis for the, for the League of Women Voters. We were founded after women got the vote so that we could be sure to have everyone cast an informed ballot, and we're missing out. With six weeks to go until Election Day, Cadell hopes the governor will eventually answer the questions. Well, I'd like to encourage the governor to go ahead. It's not too late to enter her responses on Vote 411, and I wish she would do that. The League of Women Voters online voters guide is available at vote411.org. You can learn more about the candidates as well at wkrg.com. Click on elections. Peter Albrecht, News 5.